Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Good morning to you all. Let me offer you my very warm welcome to the Yale Club as well for the sixth meeting of the Commission and the second meeting to be held here in New York. And I would like to take the opportunity to again thank the, ch the coach, two co-chairs for the real dedication. President Kagame will be joining us later on this afternoon. Uh, and uh, I would like to also thank all the commissioners for the continuous involvement that each and every one of you have uh, made and your dedication. Let me also uh, thank uh, Minister Ivo Ivanovsky of Macedonia, who was the chair of the host of the last meeting in April. I think we had a good time there, and I would like to again extend uh, my, our thanks to President and Prime Minister, who both uh, attended our event, and uh, we really appreciated it. It's a real pleasure to, um, and a great honor to have so many commissioners and their representatives here today uh, in this fine establishment. S Samuel Morse, who did so much for the world of telegraphy in the 19th century, studied in the Yale College and graduated Phi Beta Kappa from this great institution of learning in 1810, so just over 200 years ago. So this location is particularly fitting for a meeting of the Broadband Commission. As usual, we have a great agenda today, and we will be hearing about the tremendous progress made uh, across the broadband planet, as well as devoting sessions to our own work plan moving forward, and of course, the launch of the State of Broadband 2012 report. So distinguished uh, commissioners, I very much want also to make sure that we have time for fruitful and interactive discussions, so I'll keep my opening remarks brief this morning. But I do, however, want to say a few words about uh, an important event, the Wicked 12, that is uh, making a lot of waves, and uh, for which I would like to give a few information to our members here, because I'm sure you may have heard some negative uh, press about it and the World Conference on International Telecommunications, which will take place in Dubai in, the, on the, in December, uh, and which is likely to be very relevant to the work of the Broadband Commission. Indeed, many commissioners and their organizations will themselves have already been directly involved in discussions taking place around the wicked, and this is a good opportunity. We are all gathered here today to summarize some of the key issues Wiki 12 has been convened to look at ways of revising the international telecommunications regulations, the ITRs, which date back 1988. As many of you will be very well aware, the ITRs 88 in Melbourne were instrumental in enabling the global development of the internet and setting the stage of the information society. That's the foundation for the competition, privatization, and deregulation that took place in the 90s. But as, as well as you know, the ICT sector has changed dramatically over the past 25 years, and IT, ITR, ICTs today have a major and growing impact on global social and economic development. Our hope, therefore, is that the ITRs can be amended to further extend the benefits of ICTs to all the world's people and set the stage for global knowledge society, as well as the just like the ITRs in 1988 set the stage for the information society that we know today, we hope that the 2012 ITRs will set the stage for the next one, the knowledge society. Unfortunately, however, uh, there has been unhelpful commentary in the media and elsewhere over the past months, which has distracted audiences from remembering that what Wicked 12 is about, which is the free flow of information, the continued development of broadband, continuing investment in networks, services, and applications so that the information will continue to flow, and perhaps most importantly, in this very fast-moving world, continuing innovation. There are some of the principles uh, you have underscored in the report we are launching today that are very re relevant, actually, 
to the wicked, 2012. We have been, uh, we have uh, seen uh, headlines suggesting that the ITU and or the UN in some ways trying, is trying to take over the internet. I don't think anyone can take, the inter can take over the internet today. And so, so it would be ridiculous to even try to do so. So we should really put this aside. Where we need to focus on is how to ensure more investment in broadband infrastructure and how to ensure that access to ICT is affordable and equitable to all the world's people. Indeed, it's hard to imagine anyone disagreeing that the benefits of ITC, ICTs should be brought to all the citizens of the world. So the question before Wicked is how can the ITRs be adapted to facilitate the achievement of those goals. I am therefore confident that Wicked 12 will give us an excellent opportunity to keep broadband at the very top of the, of the global agenda. Broadband is very much bigger than, is much bigger than the, the Broadband Commission, even bigger than the United Nations. Broadband affects everyone on the planet and is arguably the greatest transformative technology in human history. So let's keep up the momentum and ensure that we reach the target we set for 2015. Now, before I conclude, I would like to welcome some of the new uh, members of the Broban Commission who could not join us last time at the uh, Commission in, uh, in, uh, in, in uh, Macedonia. Uh, I want to mean here Vanu Boz, Sheikh Abdallah, Cathy uh, Kelvin, uh, Luis Alberto Moreno and uh, Jean-Louis Schiltz, uh, who are here, I would like to really welcome you all. Uh, I would like also to welcome our speci special guests, Minister Edmond Mansour uh, from Antigua and Baruda, who has, is joining us, uh, representing his president. We invited the president, but unfortunately the president is only coming this evening. Uh, he was chair of the Rio Plus 20, and on that capacity, I believe that uh, uh, the broadband has played a key role in, the, in this, and uh, uh, ICT has been highlighted in this uh, report heavily, uh, and we're very grateful for that, and uh, we'll hear from him. And I would like to also welcome Amina Mohammed, UNSG's uh, uh, lead for the, uh, uh, for the eminent persons panel. Uh, Amina Mohammed is sitting next to Dr. Hesa, uh, here uh, on my right, on the right side of the panel, and uh, it's really great to have her he here. But of course, uh, I would like to welcome Gina Davis. Gina was the winner of the ITU's uh, World Information Society Award this year. Uh, we really uh, are grateful for the work she's doing for women, and uh, we'll hear from her later on today. And uh, we really appreciate her contribution to the world. This is tremendous uh, achievement that she is bring, bringing, bringing her own stature in helping uh, women and girls around the world. And uh, we are very grateful that Gina is here. So on that note, I would like to uh, thank you again and uh, feel really proud of the achievement so far of this Broadband Commission. I think this is the first time an informal group, because we've been created on an informal basis, has made headways to the point of being quoted at the UN General Assembly. Uh, and I would like to really uh, uh, thank each and every one of you for your personal dedication. Uh, we all know we're doing the right thing, and the thing that we'll do will make a difference. So let's keep up doing this, and thank you very much for continuing the, the energy that you are continuing to, to inject in this group. And uh, on that note, I will uh, pass the floor to 